I feel like the more I cover Beatronic stuff on this channel, the more I run the risk of just becoming a broken record, saying things like, it's a great fuzz, it's a great overdrive, or it looks as good as it sounds. This is the Nectar by Beatronics, and it really does feel like a poor use of time to sit here and talk to camera about what this thing is. You heard on that intro track, and you're gonna hear in the sound samples, this thing is killer. So let's really briefly just talk about what it is, and then we can listen to why it's worth your time. This is another offering in Beatronics' adorable tiny enclosure line. I don't know if there's a name for it, I just think that that's what I'm calling it, adorable tiny enclosure line. Um, but where a lot of Beatronics stuff can be quietly very intricate, uh, offering things like submenu controls or crotch switches, or pressing and holding foot switches and turning knobs to make adjustments to kind of hidden features. The Nectar is incredibly plug and play. You have three controls and a toggle, no secret menus, no sub controls, no nothing. Uh, it is volume, it is gain, it is tone, and up here it is overdrive and it is fuzz. And it's really, really good. You heard on that intro, you've got a little bit of a resonant cue on that filter control for that tone, and you have an incredibly wide range of high headroom gain in this pedal. You've got everything from kind of edge of breakup, dynamic touch responsive overdrive sounds, up through big, rich, smooth distortions. And then on that fuzz side, you have some of my favorite fuzz tones of anything I have used. Just the articulation and the attack of a distortion with the sustain and kind of wall of sound body of a great fuzz pedal. The fuzz side of this thing is rich and luscious and a ton of fun to play. And pro tip, we'll get to this at the end. For some reason, the fuzz side of this thing, if you turn the volume all the way up, the gain all the way down, and the tone all the way up. I'm serious, if you min-max everything on this pedal in that fuzz side, it's like maybe the best sound in the pedal. I can't explain why, it sounds amazing. It's like this beautiful, slightly mid-forward, not overly wooly, but super articulate without being bright. It's just trust me. For some reason, this nonsense configuration of knobs right here is just chef's kiss. It is, it is beautiful. But here's the thing, there's very few bad sounds in this thing. The gain structure and the tone control are responsive to each other in ways that feel very natural and very organic. It's easy to get good sounds out of this thing. It's honestly difficult to get bad sounds out of it. So let's go to our pedal board and let's really dig into the nectar and just listen to why this tiny little thing might be the best new addition to your pedal board. As always, before we get into our sound samples, let's go ahead and talk through our signal chain and the context we are working in. I am playing my Ernie Ball Music Man St. Vincent Goldie into the 29 Petals Yuna, the Maris Hydra, the Benson Germanium Boost, and the Beatronics Nectar. From there we go to the Chase Bliss Blooper, the Echo Fix EFX3, the Chase Bliss Audio CXM 1978, and our amplifier, which is the Matchless Lightning 15 into the Universal Audio Aux. We used a combination of all of these things during that intro track, but for these sound samples, we're basically just going to use the Yuna with no switches engaged just as a buffer uh, and bypassing both our reverb and our delay. Here is our dry tone into the amplifier. <laughs> let's get into the nectar. We're going to start things off on the overdrive side. Uh, and you can tell because that top left LED is illuminated. Uh, and if you click the, uh, the little black toggle at the kind of top center of the pedal, you can kind of see even in bypass mode, which mode you're in. From left to right up top, our control scheme is volume, honey, and taste, which can be interpreted as volume, gain, and tone. In overdrive mode, we are going to have everything at noon to start, and then we will kind of start by playing with that gain range and that taste control. <laughs>
as you can hear, at really low gain settings like we are right now, uh, there's a lot of touch responsiveness to this overdrive. And you can hear that that uh, you can hear in that little bit of white noise mo moving through the circuit right now. Uh, there's a little bit of a resonant cue to where that filter lands uh, that actually kind of like somewhat sweeps through your signal, basically not just allowing you to roll off highs, but also to kind of like target specific frequencies that you want to push through a little bit more. full gain for the overdrive. As you can hear, we've now brought that overdrive way back down, but we've almost completely maxed out volume, uh, allowing that kind of semi-resonant cue in that tone control to really kind of like pierce the amplifier's preamp section, really activate those tubes. <laughs>
I love that. Two very, very different characters uh, just by kind of like rebalancing whether you're emphasizing internal clipping or output volume. And this is an overdrive that uh, stacks really, really well. Let's go back to kind of that kind of low mid gain and then hit it with a slight boost from the Benson. that jump over to the fuzz side. Everything reset at noon. Let's actually jump back over to the overdrive side again, just so you can hear that transition between the two circuits. That's such a good fuzz. And that's with tone at noon. This is a fuzz that opens up really well. It doesn't get ice picky in my opinion, but it does get really articulate and kind of almost more closer to a distortion sound than, a, than what I would consider to be very fuzzy just by way of clarity.
So that's uh, tone completely maxed out right now. Volume push and uh, slight gain reduction. <laughs> Maximum volume. is the fact that uh, we are currently, as you can hear from that white noise, minimum gain, maximum volume, but also maximum uh, tone. So taste is completely up, honey is completely down, volume is completely up, and it ends up sounding weirdly good, even in that fuzz mode. Why does min-maxing everything sound so good right now? It's pretty cool in overdrive mode, the kind of like nonsense settings we are right now, but that fuzz is actually ridiculously good in that mode. 